call back. All right, Myron. How's it going? It's All going right. good, good, sir. I'm glad you came out. Thank you. Uh, a couple things. Let me let me ask you first. As you go in here, have you ever? Um, I know you know a little bit about the single plane swing, but tell me a little bit of history of your of your golf game and why you showed up here today. Uh, my golf game. It's um, I've been hitting a lot right. And, or the slicing or all that and um, I just I'm just having bad trouble getting making good contact with the ball. So consistency blocking a little them. bit? Yes. Have right. fun in the process. So let me do this. Let's let me just kind of go through just set you up into the single plane setup then I'm going to do my best in the next few minutes here to get you making a single plane golf swing and see what it feels like to you. Okay. Okay. Hop up there. Let me just kind of make some adjustments. I'm going to walk you through this. All right. So I'm going to kind of tell you what to do and you kind of walk through it with me. So Myron, so what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to put you in the single plane address. The goal is to simplify everything going on with your movement. So the actual real goal is to get you to impact with least the least amount of movement in your body and the least amount of rotation. So create mm -hmm. speed, get to the most important moment impact, but in an easier way. Okay. Okay. So set up there and I'm going to start kind of putting you in this position. We call this a single plane address. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the club a little behind the ball, I'm gonna lift the arms just slightly. Now I want you to scoot away from the golf ball just a little bit. Okay, now, so in this hand, you see the trail hand, I'm putting this in a little bit of rotation. We're gonna okay. put this hand in what we call non-rotational. It's gonna go up and down without rotation. Okay. All right, so stay right there. Now, I'm gonna tilt your body. This is a big part of the single plane thing. I'm gonna tilt you into a spine tilt. That spine tilt is very similar to impact spine tilt. So I'm already presetting your spine to impact. Okay, so you feel kind of different there, I bet? Oh, yes. Okay. Widen your feet just a tiny bit more. Now, I have got two great alignments. I have your impact club plane alignment right here with the arm, and mm -hmm. I have the single plane alignment of the club and the arm. Right now, you're in a great single plane address position. Okay. All right. Now, here are the rules, all right? When you swing, all right, you're gonna make a swing. Just try to keep your feet flat on the ground. Make a nice, easy swing and see if you can make contact with that ball, all right? Nice okay. and easy. Okay, so the right foot came up just a little yeah, bit. Okay. Great, great first swing. I'm telling you, that was a great job. I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay. <laughs> now on this one, the way you keep your foot on the ground, it's a little different than conventional golf. Mm -hmm. Yes. So in conventional golf, you straighten the lead leg, right? And that right. usually lifts the foot. In the single plane swing, we hit into a flex lead knee. Yeah, and that keeps the foot down. So try one practice swing without, without lifting the feet. See if, how you feel. Let me get you set up again real quick. You're just doing good. You're doing good there on the single plane, all right? Swing through, keep your feet down. See if you can flex the lead knee just a little bit. Okay, try one more time. Right heel came up just a little bit. Okay, yes. Good job, it was pretty close. One more time, flex lead knee. Good swing, good swing. All right, let's try that, okay? Okay. Great shot, beautiful. That was very good. That was good. Yeah. That was great. That nice job. Good. Thank That's, you. That was a nice swing right there. So what we did there, it's all about simplifying movement. So did you kind of feel that? Oh yes. Yeah. So what did you feel? I felt just it. You're not. I'm not. I'm not have to come up on my left side, and plus everything is back. I'm back behind the you're ball. You're already where you need to be at impact. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of here, the conventional swing. I'm either up, up front of the ball or it's, I'm, I'm coming back, tilting too far right. back on impact. Right. The, the average spine angle at impact, the perfect spine angle at impact is around 15 degrees. All right. So not... all good players have approximately 15 degrees. When you set up in conventional and you go to 15, there's a lot of movement that happens. Yes. So what I'm doing with the single plane swing is I'm putting you at about 15 to start with so you don't have to move. So okay. I eliminated movement when you did that. You did a I great like job. It. Thank you. You look good. Good Thank work. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Looking forward. I've been playing about 20 years and my golf game was good when I was younger, but uh, since I gotten older, it's gotten pretty erratic. Not bad erratic, but um, it just uh, needs some uh, correcting to do. Had back problems and because I fell off a pole because I'm a journey lineman by trade and I felt like 25 foot, but this, the reason I came out today, I can see now the Mo Norman swing, the single plane swing, it's, I, I just in that right, that little bit of time, I can feel there's no pressure on my lower back. You know, that's where I really enjoy. I definitely will enjoy the game in the future. Oh. All right, swing away. Nice and easy.
Let's say did it. Did it want to come up? I got no. I got See? it. I got it. I kept it down. <laughs>